So you've been thinking about getting a processor that can be overclocked, like the 4790K or 4690K, and you're thinking of what cooling system to go for. Should I go for the high-end air cooling, the giant aluminium fin? Or you want to go for a liquid cooling, which is twice or sometimes thrice as more expensive as the air cooling solutions? So is it still worth to buy liquid cooling or air coolers have come a long way from its predecessors? So let's find out. dusty just after three months of use with filtered intakes in my computer but you could see it's still dusty so what I did is clean it up put the fans back in using these radiator screws which came with the H100i and you can see how it looks once it's done then you just mount the radiator back using the screw shown on the screen once done For the back plate, you'll need uh, rubber grommets, which usually come with Corsair cases, or you can pick up rubber washers at Home Depot, or if you're in Australia, at Masters or Bunnings Warehouse. And then you can put it between the back plate and the rear of the motherboard. And also for extra protection, I would put double sided tape between the board and the back plate to act as a cushion when the water block is mounted to avoid the weight to bend the motherboard in any way and that's pretty much it then you just screw the thumb screws in and By the way, here are numbers if you care. So that's pretty much it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends if you found it useful. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.